is going on everybody and welcome to this video. You may know of me, you may not know of me. If you don't, my name is Brian Turner and I love doing challenges and challenging myself to see what happens to my body. You might have seen me do the seven day only pizza challenge recently. So I like to see what happens when I do weird things to my body. Recently, there's been a big, big uptrend, a big fad in social media talking about beets and beet juice, improving your workout and the workouts affecting it. What I found out is that beet juice has an incredibly high amount of natural occurring nitrates, which are a precursor to nitric oxide in the blood. So I said for an entire week, Monday through Friday, every single workout, what I'm gonna do is before I go in there, about an hour, hour and a half before I get into my workout, is I'm gonna drink 10 ounces of juiced beets to see exactly how effective it can actually be. So I'm gonna be the test subject for this week and hopefully by the end of it, we'll see exactly what we think about it. All right, today marks day one of the beet juice challenge. I'm having eight ounces of pure beet juice that we juiced this morning. I am terrified because I've heard some really bad things about how bad it tastes, about how hard it is the stomach, and how badly I'll be running to the bathroom. Bottoms up. Oh, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Very red though, I gotta go wash this off my face. It's gonna look like I'm a vampire or something like that. I've got about an hour and a half to the workout, so we'll see how well I stomach it and how the workout goes. So I just got back from that workout. I'm having my post-workout meal, which is some quinoa, some tofu, some black beans, spinach, green bell pepper, onion, garlic, all that good stuff. I also got some of that stuff wrapped into burritos here. Really, really tasty post-workout meal. But guys, I did not expect to see any difference until maybe like the third or fourth day, right? Because I felt like I might have to like stack up the effects of drinking the beet juice. This workout had one of the best pumps I've had on my legs and a really, really long time. I was doing uh, sumo squats. I mean, I did deadlifts too, but when I got into the sumo squats, my quads were so freaking pumped. I wish I was wearing shorts so I could have like showed you guys the pumps during the workout. I mean, maybe it's placebo. Maybe I just was really hydrated and had a really good workout today, but I feel like I felt the difference already. If this is how it goes for the rest of the week, I will not stop drinking beet juice forever. Day two, drinking this vampire blood. Bottoms up. Let's go work out. So day two is proving to be quite awesome. So I actually got really crappy sleep last night. I think I got four and a half hours, maybe five hours. So I got to the gym today and I was like, oh, I was just really tired. I also, which I usually am not dehydrated, but last night I just did not drink a lot of water. And this morning I woke up, I was super dehydrated and I still got a super, super good pump today, which is like not supposed to happen. So day two, I'm feeling like it's not placebo. I feel like it's work. Good morning. Good morning. And you want some peaches? You want some? You want some? She's like, I'm not interested in that. Day three. Ugh, that's the good stuff. You see these red marks that are on my face? Yesterday I forgot to wipe these off and I went into the gym and I had these on my face for like 30 minutes and I was talking to people and they were like, oh, how's you doing? How's your workout going, Brian? It's good to see you again and stuff. And I'm just like, doopy doopy doo, da -de doo And then I went to the bathroom and I noticed that it looked like, I don't know, it looks like I ate a vampire's neck or something. Okay, so this is definitely one of the weirder things that I've done on YouTube and I actually was like, should I even put this on YouTube? Will the YouTube sensor agents get me for this one? But I have to do this. So yesterday when I got to the gym, I went to pee in the urinal and I peed bright red. Like it literally looked like I was peeing blood. And for a second, like a half second, I was like, oh, and then I remembered, oh yeah, beet juice. 
this is just the beat juice making my pee red. And I was just laughing because I was like, the next guy who comes into that urinal is going to look at that and just be like, this guy just passed a kidney stone. Whoever peed before me is peeing blood. But anyways, in honor of transparency and being completely weird, uh, I decided I would pee in a cup so I could show you guys the color of my pee. I figured that would be the most appropriate way to do it instead of showing you me actually peeing or showing you like the toilet bowl. Uh, but yeah, all my pee is bright red. All my poo is really red. So... Yeah, that's that. Day number four of the beet juice, but behind the beet juice, check this out. We made the gingerbread house this year for Christmas. And look how kick ass this is. Look at the little, little gate that walks up to the gingerbread house. You got all the lights trimming and you got these big ass ones on top. Today is chest day. This is my bed head, so don't hate me. What I've found is that I have to drink this as soon as I wake up. So I literally just got up. It is freaking cold, so I got my bathrobe on. I'm drinking it like right now because it takes a little bit to settle my stomach. And on the second day, I had a little bit of some queasiness and I had to kind of like wait it out before I went, actually like went to the gym. Um, so I'm putting it down so that I can let it process ASAP because I am drinking it on an empty stomach. Ah, delicious. I'm actually finding it easier and easier to drink as I've gotten used to it, so it's not that bad anymore. Just drinking the blood of my enemies. So this workout today was the best workout so far of this beat workout week challenge thing. And uh, I might not look as pumped right now while holding the camera. I was just zinging, going rep after rep after rep. I was like not having to take as long a rest period. So instead of taking maybe 45 seconds to 60 seconds, like every 20, 30 seconds, I was like, what am I waiting around for? Let's do the next set. And my strength was up a little bit. That oxygen endurance, I feel like, I, I, maybe it's a placebo, but I feel like it's, it's a true thing, man. And the pump, man, I'm like, my arms are tight. My chest felt real pumped. I even got a little bit of a back pump from doing the chest exercises. I mean, I can't say it's a fact that it's working and that you should do it, but I will be doing this after the beat challenge is over. This is freaking awesome. Bright and early, I'm gonna show you guys how this beet juice is actually created. Sixth and final day of the beet juice challenge complete. It is insane to me how different the before and after pump is by taking this beet juice. Like citrulline malate, arginine, I've used this product before. I still use with them sometimes, but beet juice is like 10 times better than any pump product I've ever used. Like seriously, this is insane. And I'll deflate, but this is insane. Okay, so you just followed me through the entire week. Five different days of working out, including also one rest day where I also drank the juice even though I wasn't working out. You probably have already deducted that I loved it. I felt 
awesome during this, so I won't need to recap it too much, but basically I'm going to continue drinking beet juice before my workouts. I'm also gonna be including uh, celery juice and carrot juice and maybe also some turmeric as well, but the beet juice for me has been proven to really, really kick ass with pumps. I mean, seriously, I've used AKG, I've used citrulline malate before, which are very popular supplements for increasing your pump, and those are awesome, but somehow the beet juice has, in my opinion, like way outdone those supplements. So for me, this week kicked ass, and yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it. I have nothing but really good things to say about the beet juice effectiveness during workouts. The only bad things that I can say about beet juice which you probably also caught in this video is that it turns your pee violently red. It turns your poo violently red as well. So don't get scared about those things. Um, it also is kind of hard to stomach at first, especially if you have kind of a weak stomach. So some of the days, uh, I mean, on an empty stomach, it's going to be really rough. Some of the days what I do is I drink the beet juice and then I would drink um, some water afterwards so that it kind of like dilutes it, I guess, so my stomach isn't hitting it so hard. During the workouts, I was feeling like I could do extra reps. I also felt like I was catching my breath earlier so I wasn't having to wait quite as long during the rest periods and seriously like the pumps were so good and they were so good in fact that I felt like my workouts were more effective because the muscles were working in a way that they should work just because my shoulders were being pumped and pulled back and so every, everything just kind of felt easier to do. I encourage you to try it out and see if you feel the same effectiveness that I have felt this week. I wanted to make this video just to try it out. Of course, I love doing these challenges. I'm gonna do plenty more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and maybe you've tried beet juice or maybe other things and I'd love to hear about it as well. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die Myron, motherfucker. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die Myron.